But good morning. He is risen. That's the first time we get to say that today. Let's do it again. He is risen. I just love that. Happy Easter to everybody out there. I'm so glad that you've joined us in worship here today. Uh, we were joking earlier that we're going to start off by just letting Barry cook. That's what we're going to do. Uh, and so uh, that well, thank you so much for getting up this early and, and, and joining with us in our sunrise Ish service. Uh, today, today we are going to celebrate. Today we're going to proclaim that Jesus is risen. Today we're going to hear the gospel. And today, I hope that you will go home blessed and assured that you live because he lives. Would you join me in prayer? Spend a few moments allowing God's grace to wash over you in this morning. That grace well into gratitude for the work Jesus has done. Our God, it is with joy that we come here today to worship, to fellowship, 
to celebrate as a family what you have done. God, I pray that today would be just a foretaste of what it will be like when you come again and the world will be made right. It's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. I'm reading Matthew 28, verses 1 to 10. After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go and quickly tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Would you stand and join us? up together. Come on. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as Sing that again. Jesus paid. Just your voices. Oh, praise the one who paid my debt. 
praise you, Lord, that you did not stay dead, but you defeated sin and death when you rose from the grave. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are alive. You are our Savior. You are our King. We love you, Lord. Amen. You can be seated. This morning, I had the the privilege of waking up really early and walking across the street and putting the white linen on the cross. I guess there are some hazards that come with living across the street. It was about 5.20 in the morning, and I got to thinking as I was, I was grabbing the linen and, and heading out of the house, trying not to wake up anybody unsuccessfully, I might add. As I was walking out of the house, I got to thinking, this is, I wonder if this is a little bit what the women felt like as they were walking towards the tomb. And I thought, no, these women had been through a major tragedy and a major trauma. They didn't know that day they were coming to see an empty tomb. To see the world change, history move on that day. Yeah, I couldn't imagine that. But then I got to th thinking about some of the other characters as I was laying the, the linen on and it fell off and I had to pick it up and put it back on. I got to thinking about some of the ones who missed Easter that day. I mean, they were the chief priests. They were some of the ones who handed Jesus over to Pilate. And after they had heard the testimony of the guards, the chief priests were worried about this would spread, so they would pay the guards so they wouldn't pay them off, so they wouldn't talk about it. And the chief priests got to thinking about their own political position. And they allowed politics to get in the way of Seeing the beauty of Easter. I know we don't allow politics to get in the way of anything today, right? But I'm wondering. I'm wondering if there are some concerns about the political nature of the world. And there are. There, there rightfully should be, especially in election year. But don't let that get in the way of Missing what Jesus has done. Then there was the crowd. You all remember the crowd? The crowd that, that, that marched Jesus in, that paraded Jesus in, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And then they, Mark and Matthew make no distinguishment between that crowd and the crowd who on Friday or Thursday were saying, crucify him. That crowd... None of them were there that day. I wonder if they had moved on. If there was the next distraction for them to get worked up about. The next thing. I wonder if the crowd was in such a hurry to move on to whatever would be next to hold their attention that they missed Easter. 
One of my favorite lines from a from from my favorite TV show is a guy named Ted Lasso. Any Ted Lasso fans in here? Yeah, just a few of y'all. Uh, he had uh, this line. He was telling his he was coaching one of his his uh, his players, and he was telling them, "Hey, you got to let this go." And he he said, "You know what animal has the shortest attention span? It's a goldfish. It's like a nine second attention span, nine second memory." Do you know what the average attention span for a human being is right now? Eight seconds. We have less of an attention span than a goldfish. We are constantly moving, constantly wanting to be distracted, constantly saying, what is the next thing that can entertain me? And I'm wondering if in our hurry, in our movement, in our distractions, that we would miss the power of Easter. We would miss the power of what God has done through the resurrection in the empty tomb. And the Roman soldiers, they were there. They were like dead men. Uh, Somewhere Stanley Hauerwas said, it's possible to be alive and live like you're dead men. And commenting on the Roman soldiers. It's always stuck with me. They go, of course, and they're worried about their jobs, and they're worried about their reputation, and they're worried about all kinds of stuff. So do y'all remember Jesus' parable of the sower, where the sower sows the seeds in the seeds that grow up among thorns? What happens to them? It gets choked out, the worries of this world. I wonder if the Roman soldiers were just a little bit like that. They actually got to see the resurrection happen. I don't know if they had fainted before Jesus walked out of the tomb or not. Matthew, Mark, Luke, they don't explain that. But we know that they were there. They saw the word. They saw the miracle happen. But then the worries of this life... Just began to choke them out just a little bit. Hardly blamed them. My hope, though, is those Roman soldiers, the next few years would be to contemplate the actions of what happened there. And the crowd, when they began to hear about the different way of Jesus, the way that Jesus offers us to live, this way of grace, they began getting to soften. Maybe even the chief priests, we don't know. Maybe even the chief priests, when they heard the testimony of the disciples later on, maybe, maybe the miracle of Easter was working in those folks' hearts. But God would continue to till the soil of their souls until they were ready to receive. I don't know. But I know on that day, for a host of different reasons, they all missed Easter. We have an opportunity here today you have an opportunity here today to not miss it. It's going to be easy today to be caught up in all the family stuff. It's going to be easy today to be caught up in all the the pageantry that we're going to do, the big singing. But I implore you, I implore you here, and you made it here to the Sunrise Service, I implore you here today, don't miss it. Open your hearts. Open the eyes of your heart that you may see the wonder of what God has done. The world changed on that Easter morning. Hope reigns. Love won. And what you have to do is put your faith in it. Would you join me in prayer? Our God, On this Easter morning, don't let us miss it. As we remember the story, as we inhabit the story, don't let us miss 
your power. Don't let us miss your love. Don't let us walk through life in fear. Don't let us walk through life worried about the troubles of this world or the worried about the politi- politics of everything. God, just help us to live lives of grace and faith. I thank you for this. I thank you for this morning and that you are risen. It's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. If you're able, why don't you stand with us? Thank you so much for joining us this morning. In case you didn't know, Sassy outdid herself over here. Thank you so much, Sassy, as she does every year. Just gorgeous. I, I think she was up here eight hours. 
yeah, about eight hours yesterday doing that. It's just amazing, amazing time and sacrifice. And so if you see Sassy, please thank her. Uh, we are going to have breakfast. I'm going to pray for us. If you do not know where to go, we're going to have breakfast in the Fellowship Hall. There are two ways to get there. One is out through these doors, past the tomb, uh, and past the drums. And then to your left, there's a stairwell. If you take that stairwell down, then turn left, and then smell the food, it'll bring you there. Uh, the other way to get there is through these doors. There's an elevator. Uh, you can take the elevator down to the first floor, and then again, follow your nose towards the towards the food. Uh, it'll get there. Um, thank you so much for for coming this morning. Let me pray for uh, our meal today, and then y'all will be dismissed. Our God, open our eyes of our heart that we may see the truth good, the beauty of your resurrection. God, I pray this day that we'll have deep fellowship with one another and experience your presence through our fellowship. I pray that you will open our minds and hearts in worship. And God, I pray that you'll bless the food that we're about to eat and the company we're about to enjoy together. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Go in peace, you're dismissed.